Welcome to the Lamentian Patro Mediation video vignette series, in which we discuss how to use specific features and capabilities of Lamentian Patro Mediation to improve the security of endpoints in your organization's network. Hi, my name is Andrea Hilwig, and in this episode I'm joined by Russ Ernst from Product Management to discuss how you can effectively patch third-party application vulnerabilities using Lumension Patch Remediation. Many organizations have processes set up to patch operating system vulnerabilities on their desktops. However, vulnerabilities in third-party applications have now become the new attack vectors into organizational networks. Most organizations today take at least twice as long to patch third-party application vulnerabilities than they do to patch operating system vulnerabilities. And the breadth of supported patch content varies widely across patching products, especially those that are free. So Russ, how can organizations effectively patch vulnerabilities for third-party applications using one simple process? Well, hi, Andrea. Using Lamention Patch Remediation, we offer a wide variety of third-party applications for support for vulnerability remediation. So let's go ahead and take a look at our complete list of, of vulnerabilities we have within the Lamention Endpoint Management Security Suite. You can see here at this broad view, there's a wide variety of supported applications and platforms. I see some Adobe, I see some Apple content, and I see some CentOS because I have my, under management, I have a CentOS Linux machine. These are just for the vulnerabilities that are applicable to the machines under, uh, under management. But I can take a closer view at this content as well. So at this point, I want to take a look at some groups that I'm managing. And at this point, I can see the information about some specific machines I have under my vulnerability management custom group. At this point, though, I want to look at the machines that I have that are under management to ensure I'm looking at the right machines for what I'm interested in from a vulnerability or management point of view. We can see here I've got my CentOS machine I was referring to, a Mac, and some XP machines. From this view, I can also look at the vulnerabilities that are applicable to these machines. So this brings up a very similar view to what we just saw. Again, I see some Adobe content, some Apple content, and some of that CentOS content. So at this point, I want to filter these results even further, and I only want to look for, say, some Adobe content. Now I see a, a much smaller list of Adobe vulnerabilities that are applicable to these machines under management. And any of these vulnerabilities, I can open up and see more information about them. How about if we look at a Firefox patch, for example? In this case, this is a much wider view of the Firefox content that's available. And also, for example, if I knew of a specific vulnerability that I wanted to see remediated across my environment, I can search by CVE number as well. So this brings up a much tighter view of the content that's applicable to the machines I have under management. In this case, the specific CVE is applicable to Firefox both on Windows and the Firefox that it, that's installed on my CentOS managed machine. Now in one swoop, I can address the vulnerabilities and deploy the content to those machines. So we make it a lot easier to manage the third-party application and platform support from one simple console. Wow, that sounds great. Thanks, Russ. You're welcome. We hope that you enjoyed this short video on how Lumengen Patch and Remediation helps you improve your security posture and lower your total cost of ownership. For more information, please visit the Patch and Remediation page on our website, where you can also get free premium security tools to assess your network today. Thank you.